Hey guys, welcome back to Cars Done Right with Jacob. And today we have this 2020 Kia Rio. Now the Kia Rio features the 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. And on top of it, it gets, oh, give or take between 36 and 40 miles to the gallon. And these days when you're commuting every day, 20 to 40 minutes, that fuel mileage is a must have. Now on this particular Kia Rio, we are sitting at only 19,000 miles. Now for a 2020, that only being two years old, that is fantastic mileage. That means it mostly has city miles instead of highway miles and it's been taken real good care of. On top of it, this gym is only going for about $19,900, give or take. It is an absolute gem and is considered the little brother to the Kia Optima. But when it comes to features, it's got just about everything you'd want to have for a full-size sedan. Now in my next video, we'll be going over some of the features on the inside of the vehicle and what it can and cannot do. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you. part two for the 2020 Kia Rio and we're going to be taking a look at some of the inside features of it. So first on the door you can see you got all your general uh, window controls, your lock and your mirror controls. As you make your way in we have your headlight brightness, your trash control where you can turn it on and off. As you can see here on the speedometer it's only got 19,000 miles and due to an auto, uh, idling for a little while it's lost a little lost a little bit of its miles to the gallon but it is up mid to high 30s now as we move over we're gonna see our radio console and it's got all kinds of options so you can just go to regular radio and play a radio station like 97.7 or 105 or you can go to your own media and I have journey playing right now and you can just Bluetooth that and you can play it over Pandora if you have Apple uh, Music or YouTube Music, whatever you prefer to use, you can Bluetooth to it and connect to it. Now, if you come up here to this little house icon, we'll be able to go back to the home and we can go to our all menus. And as you can see, it has the capability for Android Auto and for Apple CarPlay as well as it'll give you a quick guide for how to run the vehicle. You can aux in if you so choose. You can also take phone calls over the radio. And then you can also give yourself voice memos. So say while you're driving you remember you need to go to the gas station or you need to go to the grocery store for X, Y, or Z. You can hit that button and it, the car will tell you and remind you at a certain time to go do those things. So if you know you have exactly 15 minutes before you make it back into town, you can set the reminder for 14 minutes. That way, right as you make it into town, it reminds you you need to go somewhere. That way you don't forget to. If we go back to the all menu and go back to home, we can go to setup. And this will has this will have every setting that you want for your car. So you can project your phone up to the, the Bluetooth console. You can also set for your different home screen buttons. So back on the home screen, what you want to show up, you can change what shows up. As well, this is where you'll go to set your door dinger buttons. So these three buttons here are garage door openers that are built into the car. That way you just set it to your own specific garage door and you'll never forget or lose your garage door openers. Here you can set your time, your specific language, so if you happen to speak Spanish or German or French, whatever you happen to speak, you can change it. You can also do a bunch, there's a bunch of stuff you can do in this vehicle. If you go to your advanced settings, you can change specifically how big the screen is, like when you project it, what color it shows when, you're, when it's showing the text, all kinds of cool features. Now as we pan down, here are all your thermostat controls for your cold and hot air as well as your max AC. This will adjust how fast it blows. You can hear the speed that it just changed. 
and you can turn it down and adjust it accordingly as well you have all your regular vent settings as well as your defroster and your rear window defroster down here is where you have your aux and your usb plug-in so say you need to charge your phone and all you happen to have is a cord because you always manage to lose those car chargers that everyone has you're able to plug it in there and charge it that way as well you do have your normal car charger port right there for your car charger and as we move further down you'll see we have a sport mode that we can set the car on you do sacrifice a bit of gas mileage but you do get more low end and top end performance for the vehicle then you just have your regular standard gear shifter and your two cup holders as well as your handbrake or your, your parking brake however you want to call it if we step out we can take a look at the back seat and as you can see there is more than enough room for anyone who's sitting back here in the back because these front seats are all the way back just for me to be able to get in and out more easily for this video now if we continue to pan down there is a USB charging port right there for any of your young kiddos that are on their tablet or their phone that say it runs dead and you're on that long eight hour car trip, you need something to keep them entertained. Now, some of the newer cars, they have the push gas tank doors. On this one in particular, you have these two levers. So this first one opens up your gas tank. The other one opens up your trunk. So we'll go ahead and pull both for us real quick. As you can see, our gas uh, container popped open. It does have the normal lid. It does not have the uh, capless ca gas tank. We'll go ahead and close that and we'll come around to the trunk. Now there is more than enough space in this trunk for whatever needs you need to have, whether that be soccer balls, gym clothes, or just enough space to put some subwoofers in here. Now we lift this up. We do have our spare as well as our factory jack and tools to be able to change a tire. Not a lot of used cars have a spare anymore, let alone an actual jack to be able to do anything to it. So again guys, those are just all the inside features of the Kia Rio. If this is something you'd be interested in, my name's Jacob. I work over at Jay Hatfield in Chinook, Kansas. Feel free to give me a call at 620-333. 9537 I'd be happy to show you the car